Hey everyone, welcome to Viv's property. We're going to show you around the beautiful native grasslands here. Now this may just look like a paddock where you'd expect cows or sheep, but it's actually a really special place for many native plants and animals. Hi Viv. G'day Alice, welcome to my place. That's right, from here it might not look very special, but let's take a closer look. Wow, can you see all the diversity? All the different types of grasses and flowering plants and herbs here. There are so many different species in this one small patch. And they all have their own unique approach to surviving and reproducing. Many grassland plants have evolved close pollination relationships with insects to reproduce. These insects in turn provide food resources for spiders, scorpions, and a wide range of birds, mammals, reptiles and frogs. All the different plants in a grassland make up an important home, which we call habitat, for a variety of native animals that live here or move through it. Grassland birds, like this plains wanderer, relies on grass cover for protection from predators, and they sit tight when predators are near. But the grass can't be too thick, as they prefer to run rather than fly when they're under threat. These birds are ground nesting, and they feed on seeds and insects on the ground. And we get birds of prey out here too, like that spotted harrier. He uses the grassland as a hunting ground to catch his prey. I don't mind him, he helps keep the rabbits down. Some well-hidden little animals also call this native grassland home. Like this grassland earless dragon. This tiny little guy lives in the burrows of wolf spiders and uses the grassland as a home, a place to look for insects and small spiders to eat and a place to hide from predators. The rocks in this grassland are a very important part of this little lizard's home and helps form the structure of this little world. Do you know that these guys have evolved over thousands of years to be camouflaged in this grassland? They are chocolate brown, like the soil, and they have three white lines along their back to fit in amongst the grassland tussocks. There aren't very many of these guys left so it's really important to make sure we keep the insect diversity in our grasslands so they have a place to burrow in and feed on. Oh wow, did you see that little guy? That's a little fat tailed donut. He lives beneath the ground. In these grasslands, there are no trees or logs or shrubs, so there aren't as many places to hide. Because of this, many of our native animals that used to live in grasslands have fallen prey to foxes and feral cats. We need to make sure we manage for pests like that. These poor little natives don't stand a chance against cats if we let them roam. Now when you look closer, you can see that the soil itself is also alive. Some creatures you can see easily, like the multitude of ant species that occupy the grasslands. These ants act as mini excavators, drawing air and moisture, grass and seeds into the soil, and providing a food source for the grassland eelis dragon and other animals. Then there's creatures which are so small that you need a microscope to see them. Millions of bacteria and fungi live in the soil and help the plants to access minerals and water so that they can grow despite some pretty tough conditions. Yeah, these natives are good doers. They can grow in some pretty tough soils without much help. They've evolved to cope with shallow acidic soils, so they make my job easier. This native grassland is full of useful pollinators too, which makes your job easier, Viv. Native beetles, bees, flies, butterflies, moths and wasps. These little guys make sure the flowers can reproduce and set seed. Some native plants have developed amazing approaches to working with their pollinators to get their pollen out there. For example, the native pea, Swainsona, uses its twisting keel petals to clasp their pollinators and trigger plants that catapult pollen onto visiting insects. This grassland is also helping the broader landscape health. The grass's strong, fibrous roots hold the soil together, protecting the ground from erosion when it rains. That's right, Alice. These grasses help keep the precious water here on my property. They let the water soak in like a sponge, instead of racing off down the hill like you see in some bare paddocks. These good old native grasses are also very drought resistant and can withstand extended dry times. 
It's incredible to watch how they take advantage of small rainfall events to maintain growth. The plants also give us oxygen to breathe and capture and store carbon in their structure, helping take the carbon out of the air. The deep-rooted perennial grasses help to store carbon in the soil all year round. Luckily, this grassland is owned by farmer Viv and her husband, who have decided to protect it from being damaged or changed. They are part of a larger protected area network and want to conserve what's left of this important community on their property. But they also farm other areas, which are already pasture improved, and they make sure their management is suitable for their grasslands. This can involve some grazing of these special areas, but Viv makes sure it's very carefully managed. That's right, Alice. We really care about our grassland, and that's all about keeping good ground cover and encouraging this diversity to continue. We sometimes use cattle grazing to help manage these precious grasslands. It needs careful management to make sure it doesn't get too thick with grass, so the space for the animals and flowers between the grasses, but also to make sure it doesn't get munched away too much. You have to allow for plants to flower and set seed and also be careful to not expose the soil, otherwise it could get washed or blown away. It's a bit of a balancing act, Alice, of knowing the right time to move them in and when to move them back out. Well, it's good to see that you really value your ground cover and the diversity of species in your grassland. It's fascinating what you can see in just this one small patch. Keep up the great work, Viv. Thanks for visiting. Yep, there is life teeming here in these native grasslands and we need to protect what's left.